All right, I wasn't even going to talk about this, but this is downright hilarious. The WNBA posted Caitlin Clark highlights to announce Sabrina Ionescu as player of the week. This was the post. Sabrina Ionescu has been on fire delivering back-to-back high-scoring performances to lead her New York Liberty squad to the number one seed in league standings, earning her Eastern Conference Player of the Week honors. But you see the Caitlin Clark highlights below. Of course, the post has since been deleted. Since been deleted, which obviously was going to be the case. Look, I'm not really mad about this. Sabrina had an excellent week. The Liberty were 4-0 and during the week. I'm we're at the point now where Caitlin Clark's production is going to speak for itself. You know, it's undeniable again. You know, I've I've talked about her. She's gonna finish second for the MVP. I have basically no doubt in my mind at this point. Um, she's obviously going to win the rookie of the year. That is a lock. That conversation is over with. Um, I think she'll be the player of the month. In the WNBA as well, obviously some fans were taken aback by this announcement, given that Caitlin just broke the the record for most assists in a game ever. Most assists in a game ever. She also generated more points in that game than anyone ever has. Now, I could argue Sabrina is a more complete player than Caitlin. Uh, Fewer holes in her game than Caitlin, but I think Caitlin's the better player because she's just more dynamic. The way she's able to push the ball and, and do everything she does, the vision. I mean, she has better vision or as good a vision as any basketball player I've ever seen on any level, male, female, NBA, college, European, FIBA, whatever, on any level, right? Um, it's just hilarious, objectively speaking, that the WNBA would post highlights of Sabrina, or I mean of Caitlin when announcing Sabrina. Of course, Asia Wilson, Won it for the, the Western Conference. She continues to win over and over again. By the way, uh, both Sabrina and Caitlin Clark uh, apparently turned down the three-point selection for the All-Star game. So that answers that question. Um, they'll go head-to-head, though. Some in that All-Star game. Obviously, Sabrina is headed to the Olympics. When, when I look at that Olympic roster, there are some guards on that team that Caitlin Clark is significantly better than. I mean, I think she's the best guard in the league, period. But Sabrina is is excellent uh, and a great all-around player. So when I'm talking about the, the rest of those Olympians, I'm not um, singling out Sabrina whatsoever. Caitlin's going to get a chance to get her licks back with Team WNBA. And there's only so long she can be held back from the awards from the recognition. I know she didn't make the Olympic team. I know some people think, you know, she has been made to pay a penance, if you will, for the hype and and notoriety she came into the league with. But that's starting to all crumble because everybody's seeing what she's doing out there. You know, you see it from the the broad fan base now. It's undeniable. Um, And maybe even the the social media managers couldn't deny it because they posted the wrong highlights. 